Cinnamon Bear. I guess we're all pretty anxious to hear about Judy and Jimmy and their friends Cinnamon Bear and Crazy Quill Dragon. For a while, it looked very much like the wintergreen witch was going to change them into a pincushion, a doormat, and two white mice. But they got away, and what was even nicer, got their precious silver star. The Crazy Quill Dragon tucked it into his hind pocket for safekeeping, and they all climbed on his back and swam away from the island of Obi. But when they reached the mainland, the worst thing in the world happened. Crazy Quilt sat down to rest and broke the silver star into a dozen pieces. That's very, very bad. And you can just imagine what Judy has to say. Oh, dear. We might just as well never have found the silver star as to have it broken. Gee, Willikers, yes. Especially after all the things we did to get it back. If you had to sit down, Crazy Quilt, why pick a rock to sit on? Oh, I am abject. I'm speechless, but I beg you to realize that my mistake was uh, unintentional. Oh, we know you didn't mean to do it, but gee, Crazy Quilt, couldn't you have used your head a little bit? Well, uh... Don't go picking on poor Crazy Quilt. Of course he didn't mean to break the star, but making him feel bad isn't going to do any good. Oh, oh dear. We might just as well have Patio Cinnamon take us back to the attic again. Yeah, I guess so. Goodbye, Crazy Quilt. Thanks, anyway, for saving us from the Inkaboos and carrying us across the root beer ocean. Yes, thanks for that, Crazy Quilt. You're a good dragon at heart. How are we going to get back to the attic, Cinnamon Bear? The airplane is still at the bottom of Looking Glass Valley. Maybe when Crazy Quilt has rested a little, he'll carry us a piece. Oh, gladly. Anything to help atone for my frightful carelessness. Anything to... Wait! What is it, Crazy Quilt? Have you got a pain? A pain? No, I have a plan. That's generally the same thing with you. There's something that might be done yet. Sure, and you've done everything that can be done, Crazy Quilt. You and your nonsense. Just a minute, my feisty friend in the fur pajamas. Let me say my say. Uh, very well. What's on your alleged mind? Why don't we go and see Melissa? Splendid! Now, why didn't I think of that? Who's, Who's Melissa? Melissa? Haven't you heard of her? Why, she's our queen, the ruler of Maybeland. What could she do? What can't she do, you mean? She's wonderful, so kind and generous. Everybody loves her. That's swell. But what could she do about the Silver Star? Anything, everything. She has wonderful powers. Nothing is impossible to her. Why, do you know once upon a time, I had the great misfortune to fall into a lemonade wishing well, and all my beautiful colors ran together. <laughs> I sure like to have seen you then. I shall overlook your <laughs> remark. Oh, I was a mess. I thought surely I'd never be able to hold up my head in society. But I went to Melissa, and she restored me to my natural beauty and splendor. She certainly has a marvelous reputation, all right. I've always intended to go to court sometime and see her for myself, but I never quite got around to it. Oh, goody. Maybe she can help us. Where does Melissa live? Oh, she lives in her palace in the capital of Maybe Land. Uh, uh, that's capital M. A bit southish of the Lollipop Mountains, right in the middle of Marshmallow Meadows. Maybe she'll know some way to have the star all put together again. I'm sure she will. Will you take us there, Crazy Quilt? Certainly. I'm quite as good on land as on water. Everybody help me pick up the pieces of the star. Jimmy, let me have your hanky. It's bigger than mine. Okay. 
Here it is. Ah, here are some pieces. Yeah, and here, here are some more. I think Jimmy and I have all the rest. Uh, hold out your hanky, Jimmy. Okay. There. All right, now, let's get started. Climb on, everybody. Up you go, Judy. Up, Jimmy. <laughs> well, we're on. Outdo yourself, crazy quilt. Gallop of you never gallop before. This is the anteroom to the Queen's audience chamber. We'll have to wait here until time for us to see the Grand Wanke. My goodness. How many more do we have to see before we get to see Melissa? Yes, I never saw so many. Uh, what's my columns? Secretaries. Yes, things like that. Oh, but you must remember, this is a royal court. You have to expect such things. After all, Melissa is the Queen, and she's much too busy to bother with people unless they have really important business with her. Who'd you say we had a see now? The Grand Wunky. He's sort of head of all the ceremonies and presents everybody to Melissa. I wish he'd hurry. My stuffing's getting very tired. Oh, I don't mind waiting so much. It's so beautiful. I like to look down that big staircase and see all the people passing up and down. Oh, here you are. Here you are. So sorry to keep you waiting, but uh, you know how it is. So much busy. <gasps> dear, 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 dear. Oh, you're not in court costume. What's that? Uh, it's what you wear when you come to see Melissa. Well, well, well never mind. It, it can't be helped now. I'll ask her to overlook the attire inasmuch as you are unacquainted with court etiquette. What does he mean? He means that he's going to ask Melissa to skip it. Oh, dear, 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 dear. dear. Now, now let's see how will we arrange this. Uh, you're the crazy quill dragon, are you not? Uh, I'm sure I've seen you before. I'm very good at remembering places. <laughs> I mean faces. That's my job. Now, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah. awfully nice of you to drop in and all that. It must come again sometime. I'm Judy. I'm Jimmy. And I'm the Cinnamon Bear. That's us, and we're very anxious to see Melissa. Is there anything special we have to do? Oh, dear, 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 yes. The bow, you know, the bow, so. I feel awfully silly doing that. You don't have to. Just be polite, and that's all that's necessary. And, and, and of course, I must announce you. Now, now, let's see. What formation would look best? Mm, let me see. The, the little girl first. Yes. And then I think the boy slightly behind her with a bear. Then the crazy quilt dragon bringing up the rear guard. Bringing up what? Does he have to carry something? No, 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 no. He's to stand behind you. Well, why don't you say that in the first uh, place? Uh, I, I just like hurrying you, Grand Wonke, but our time is short and our business very important. Now, you just sort of forget a few formalities and announce us to Her Majesty like a good Wonke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, I think everything is in order. Uh, do you mind if I adjust your green bow, little bear? I thank you to keep your hands off me bow, and my name is Patio Cinnamon, if you please. Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. Now, I think we may enter now. It's about time. Ouvrez la porte! What's that mean, that uh, ouvrez... Uh, well, what you just said. Well, that's uh, that's uh, French for open the door. Well, why did you just say open the door instead of that French door? Because this happens to be a French door and won't open unless you speak French. So there. <laughs> Ouvrez la porte! My, 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 those hinges need oiling dreadfully. Must make a note about that. Uh, see about oil for hinges. <clears throat> now, now, are we all hunky bunky? Yes, monkey. Dudley, the fine fowl. Oh, thank you, Dudley. That was lovely. Thank you. Uh, now, friends, you may enter the presence of. Queen Melissa of Maybeland. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Isn't she beautiful, Jimmy? You bet. Why, she's nearly as pretty as Mother, I'd say. Look at her throne. It's all shiny. All gold, children. Eighteen carats, solid gold. It looks like there's something shiny all about her, too. It must be more magic. It is. That protects her from anything touching her. Nothing could get close enough to hurt her. I sure never saw anything like this before. Will you please come closer? Uh, her Majesty desires you to approach. Be sure you don't go too close, however. Uh, Your Majesty, may I present Miss Judy? How do you do? Fine, thanks, but we... Uh, 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 Mr. Jimmy. I'm so happy to see you. And we're glad to see you. And this is... The Crazy Quilt Dragon, of course. How are you? Oh, very well, Your Majesty. Thank you. And uh, last but not least... Well, who is this fuzzy little person with the green ribbon round his neck? 
Who are you, little friend? I'm the cinnamon bear with the shoe button eyes. And I'm helping these children recover a prize. It's a silvery star that was fashioned, you see, for the very tip top of a big Christmas tree. Though we've hunted low and we've hunted high, we cannot get it back, no matter how we try. Our most crazy quilt dragon made off with it first, then a whale ate it up, but that isn't the worst. Oh, it's been through a hundred adventures since then. We just lose it and find it and lose it again. So we've looked and looked till we're almost blue. And if you'll help us out, we're much obliged to you. So you see, Your Majesty? Call me Melissa, won't you? We're all going to be friends, and friends shouldn't be too formal. That suits me. All this wonky business about bowing and everything. I know how you feel, Jimmy. But I must give the Grand Wonky something to do. He'd feel very unhappy otherwise. Well, you see, Melissa, the cinnamon bear told you part about what happened to our lovely silver star, but lots of things happened to it after that. And the last thing was, the winter green witch cast a spell on me and forced me to steal the star and take it to the her. The winter green witch? Grand Wonky, make a note that I must take up the case of the winter green witch at my next council meeting. She's been practicing magic without a license. Oh, dear, dear me. Yes, Your Majesty. <coughs> Fix witch. Good and proper. She was going to change us into things. Then I showed her a looking glass, and she got awful scared and let us go. And Crazy Quill took us across the root beer ocean, but... But he sat down on the star and broke it into a dozen pieces. So we thought maybe you could help us get it fixed. Of course I can help you. You can? Oh, that's wonderful. Now you just listen very carefully to everything I say, and your silver star will be restored. Well, that's quite the best news Judy and Jimmy have had since they started out on their adventurous trip through Maybeland. Let's be sure to listen next time and find out how Queen Melissa plans to get the broken silver star back into one piece. Mm -hmm. 